Atalanta versus Paris Saint-Germain. English commentary. For PSG. PSG have played twice in official games since March, both cup finals. And they've won them both to... stricken by this pandemic and of course in an amazing tribute if you like to the population of the city what Gilbert knew his philosophy his tactical approaches turned Atalanta into a super competitive team hole here he is again caught at the back and Neymar has gone all the way through and he's put it wide he left Atalanta in his wake and Kylian Mbappe shares the sense of disbelief but he comes in off that left hand side plays a lovely little one two with Icardi Caldara's trying to get back but he hasn't got the pace he's good job he didn't pull him down there he had a little tug on his shirt at one point Neymar just tries to open up his body, but he gets it horribly wrong at the end of it. But there's the problem for Atalanta. They go man for man at them. Paradise, who might have been in the two experts starting 11, which was a huge collection of England and Italy. Lovely change of pace from Neymar again, and great footwork too. Towards uh, Gomez to rein it in that time. Neymar. the whole width of the pitch. And they're away again. Neymar's away again. And he go all the way this time. Now he goes, well, maybe that's a reflection of missing the first one. In the end, it was neither one thing or the other. The suggestion is he was looking for Icardi. Brilliant play for him to start with, though. He knows he's 1v1 against a player that's much slower. Just plays it back. Caldara gets too tight. By the creativity of their skipper. Papa Gomez. Somewhat later. And uh, the kind of form that has taken him into uh, Serie A. Popped up in the inside right position to score that crucial goal against uh, Dortmund. Here's Neymar. He's done well to get the cross in. Good numbers. And Atalanta. If he's brought his A game here to Portugal. Van Bernat, Neymar, he leaves Pasilic, absolutely dismissed it, and was a fraction away from scoring an outstanding equaliser. He knows what's expected of him tonight, and bar the final flourish, he's delivering. Well, he looks to be on fire tonight, doesn't he? Went past. Defending, and it was well done by Kera. Good kick to French club. Playing well at the moment, they were, yes, the two finishes weren't good. Neymar, Sarabia again. Icardi coming in the last couple of years. Say so well done for coming back. Still in ten minutes left in the first half. Neymar's free kick. Well anticipated by the backup goalkeeper Sportiello. Bothered and bewildered by this in the end. Goes over Zapata. Neymar. He delivers it well, it's not dealt with Sarabia to spot it up, turn it back in a good. Sportiello. Fair. Neymar about. You don't want to be trying to out trick him. Clip up. If he does bring it down, he's got the ability. And he lets it go in the end. And nobody else can keep up with him. Risky one from Hatterboer, it's a very risky one. First half. It certainly looked hard for one of the world's great talents tonight. There looked to be a big open space at that near poke. And out by Pasilic. 
part. Yes, he's side of 1-0 down, but since the goal, he's been the better team, PSG. They're finding space in the front areas. Distant infringement, really. Bearing in mind, this could go to extra time as well. Get them back into the contest. They invariably do score. So too to Atalanta, and they have scored. And here is Neymar, quickly down to business. Good work by Icardi. Finding Neymar, he's past the row and grabs at him in advantage play. Neymar, and the end is going to be looking for to have exceptional self belief to go for goal for this kind of this maybe hope final. Neymar's pass, That's Neymar in terms of age. He should be consequences of failure here, and it will be seen as failure. Yeah, a little bit more desperate for Atalanta in terms of their defending. There's a nutmeg on the road by the irrepressible Neymar. And he's off the outside of his boot. There's been no shortage of chances, but it's still 1-0 to Atalanta. Zapata battling, tussling. Freuler loses out, and it's Neymar who takes it from him. Maybe problems for Atalanta here. Neymar needs help, and he gets it from Kera. Winds up for a shot, it was blocked by Chinchiti. Neymar. Just an unfair challenge on him. There goes Neymar, though. Except. Neymar to take the free kick. They're still 1 0 down for the 27th minute. Solid headed into Neymar. The two superstars combined here. He's involved as well. He's got to maybe get another substitute on as well. Having just brought. Mbappe found by Neymar. Neymar again finding space and still going, still not finishing. At least that one was on target. It was a lovely threaded pass. It took out half the team of Atalanta to get to the Brazilian. He just gets tall away running backwards and he's trying to bend it in pressure. Give it away again. They can't keep it for long enough, Atalanta, to mount any real attacks. And pen back again. Filo Quera. It's a perfect challenge. Neymar tries to make the most of it. There it is. Perfect challenge. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. It's Kimpembe. Malinowski can't get there. Neymar superbly gets away. And uh, Caldara despairing. He might not catch this, Neymar. He's uh, worked by Kera. Still going, and comes to Mbappe, who really has lined it up. It's been out. Two players that make a real difference when they're playing at their best. Gomez and Ilicic, Ilicic didn't play from the start. Gomez. I think Atalanta must realize the way the game has gone there 90 minutes if it goes to extra time so many players looking out on this to a full complement Neymar free kick taken quickly Neymar Draxler shots on they've had to play his two promoting and it's uh, Marquinhos and there it is it is 1-1 Fate has smiled on Thomas Tuchel and Paris Saint-Germain. Atalanta couldn't hold out. Right at the end. They might not need extra time. Neymar. Atalanta trying to get numbers back. Kera quickly on the scene. Mbappe, to promoting, they won't need extra time. It's one of the great Champions League turnarounds.
for Thomas Tuchel, for Paris Saint-Germain. Atalanta, absolutely exhausted, and now surely out. And that is tomorrow. We'll uh, have uh, a happy day. They got the strength, Thomas Tuchel, to get up and celebrate.